Hello. <laughs> um, hi. Hello there, guys. It's Joel here, aka Galax, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yes, I have a new microphone, and I'm feeling very professional. That's why today I'd like to review the Met Gala 2021 red carpet. Is it a red carpet? Is it a gold? What color is the carpet? I'm very, very excited about this. Um, I always look forward to the Met Gala. I'm going to get myself comfortable. Basically, I'm not going to talk about every single look because we would be here forever. I'm going to talk about the looks that kind of impressed me or didn't really impress me. If you don't know who I am, I make videos about fashion here on YouTube. You can also follow me over on Instagram at Galax if you'd like to see my personal style. I post nearly every single day. If you're a fan of RuPaul's Drag Race, you'll notice I have stolen from Fashion Photo Review the tooting and booting of each look. So if we like a look, we're going to toot it. If we don't like a look, we're going to boot it. A little bit of context before we get into the looks. The Met Gala always has a theme. Uh, this year, the theme was, in America, a lexicon of fashion, which to me um, means contemporary... American fashion, whether that's designers or whether that's uh, iconic fa American moments in fashion. Obviously, the theme is open to interpretation. <laughs> you will definitely see that in the looks that we're about to see. A lot of uh, sites have rep been reporting it today as American independence. I don't know if it was technically that, um, but if it was that, that means even less people got the theme correct. Anyway, let's begin because we have a lot to talk about. So the first one we're going to talk about is Rihanna. Rihanna is the queen of the Met Gala. She has been so stunty in the past. She has served some of the best looks we've ever seen. This year, she arrived last, of course, fashionably late, wearing a Balenciaga couture. It's kind of like a gown slash coat. Um, it has a lot of drama. It's very dark, kind of gothic. She's got some jewelry and a beanie on. I think she looks great. I don't see how Balenciaga Couture connects to American fashion in any way, shape, or form. The scale here is if they look good, I'm going to give them a two. If they get the theme right, I'm going to give them a two. If they look bad and they don't get the theme, then they're going to get a boot. Uh, so we're going to give Rihanna a two because she just looks amazing, even though she didn't really care about the theme. But she's Rihanna, so does she really have to care about the theme? And ASAP Rocky, I'm not even going to talk about because I think that was... Just bad choices all around. Kid could he? More like kid could he not? <laughs> Sorry, that was... I couldn't stop myself from saying that. I believe Kid Cudi is wearing a Louis Vuitton skirt and a million dollar cause necklace. Um, I get it that Virgil is American and this is like somewhat American, but I just think it looks kind of cheap and tacky. Uh, especially with like the neon green hair with the neon green accents in the outfit. I don't think that this is Met Gala worthy. Uh, so this is a boot for me. Normani, Valentino, hot couture. Um, I said on Instagram that Normani was one of my favorite like outfits from the VMAs. And I wish he carried that same energy into the Met Gala. Because to me, this it's got volume and drama. And that's kind of what you expect at the Met Gala but I don't love it. I just don't think it has any like anything special about it. I think it kind of looks like something that you would see in Cinderella. That's a boot for me. Next up we have Iman. I believe Iman is wearing Harris Reed. I think they're an emerging designer from London, I believe, because I watched all the interviews with Emma Chamberlain for Vogue, interviewing each person about their outfits. And this is incredible. Like the craftsmanship that's gone into this outfit is insane and she looks incredible. She said it was meant to symbolize hope. She looks like the sun. I get it. I think that's a loose reference saying that like, oh, you know, the past pandemic year, like all we need right now is hope and stuff like that. So I kind of see the connection in that way. I just think she looks amazing and needed like an excuse to connect it to that somehow. I'm very impressed and I want to give her a two anyway just for looking so fabulous. Does it connect to the theme? I'm not sure. Billie Eilish looks kind of like an old lady. She's wearing Oscar de la Renta. Apparently she said that she would wear Oscar de la Renta if they agreed to not use fur, which is an amazing use of her like influence. So in that sense, kudos. But in the other sense, that wig or hair, I, it must be a wig, ages you so much and you kind of look like this old Hollywood glamour but literally copy and paste from old Hollywood glamour, not anything new and youthful about it. 
she's probably the one of the youngest people at the Met Gala and she looks like one of the oldest. I just think someone really did her dirty with the kind of with the cut of the dress and the shape of the hair. She looks nice, but I'm just gonna give it a boot. This is Zoe Kravitz. Yeah, Zoe Kravitz is in Saint Laurent, this kind of like chain dress. I don't see how it connects. But she does look amazing, <laughs> so I'm gonna give her a two. A Lil Nas X. Now, Lil Nas X is wearing Versace. Um, he went from like, he did three looks in one. He went from like a cloak to a shining armor, metal armor, and then down to this bedazzled bodysuit. He looks amazing. He looks incredible. Does it have a connection to American fashion? No. Versace is Italian. The medieval kind of look was European, if anything. And the bedazzled catsuit wasn't really signifying anything. Um, even on his interview with Emma Chamberlain, he was like, it's about himself. It's about like coming into the industry, like wearing a cloak and then actually coming out um, and then putting up his armor and then losing the armor and being his like authentic self, which I like. So I'm going to give him a two, but did it connect to the theme? No. Someone, somewhere has tricked Megan the Stallion into wearing coach because this dress is garbage. It looks like a prom dress. I don't understand what happened here. I don't understand who told her it looked good. Uh, she is known for like commanding sexuality. She is a strong woman, one of the rising female stars in the world. And she looks bad. I just don't get how she thought. It's just like a regular dress with some tool on the side it's not it's not cute and it's not for them if this is your first Met Gala like you want to impress and this just didn't so I'm gonna give her a boot Grimes now I am a huge fan of Grimes she's wearing Iris Van Herpen and she has a sword I don't know why she has a sword someone online said it's very American to carry a weapon and I was like tsk, tsk, tsk. that's very true um not maybe a sword though, because that's again like very medieval. Um, she looks amazing. She looks incredible. Does it have a connection? I think Iris van Herpen is Dutch, so I don't see how this connects at all. But does she look good? Yes. Rose from Blackpink wearing Saint Laurent. It's gaggy that someone from Blackpink is at the Met Gala. This is like amazing. I'm a huge Blackpink stan and I love Rose. I do think it's a little bit plain and simple. Uh, she looks good, nevertheless. Do I think she could have worn something with a bit more drama? Yes. Uh, she looks nice though. And I'm glad that she was there. Uh, so I'm gonna give her a two. This is Carly Kloss and I believe she's wearing Carolina, Carolina, Carolina. I've never said some of these designers names out loud before. So please let me know if I'm saying it wrong. Carolina Herrera but by Wes Gordon, which and that is Wes Gordon, I believe. This, I watched the interview and this is based off like a state flower. So I kind of love that. I think it has a lot of drama. I find it aesthetically pleasing. I don't think it needed the floral clutch because that kind of distracts and it's in a slightly different material, um, but it's still like a kind of wrap ball in a hand. I think it could have done without that, but I love the aesthetic of the dress itself. And if it is a state flower, then it does kind of connect to the theme in some way. Uh, I'm gonna give her a two. Lord is wearing bowed. Is it bowed? I don't know. I've never said it before out loud. I've seen it written, but never said it. Um, I believe bowed is from New York. Uh, so in that sense, it kind of takes a nod to contemporary American designers. Uh, does she look amazing? Yes, she looks very regal. Only because it reminds me of like, European monarchies and that kind of stuff. Um, but then again, she does look like this kind of, then again, she does look like some kind of flower child. She has all these kind of like embellishments all over the jacket and skirt. Uh, it's very Lord um, and I like it. I think she looks good. So I'm gonna give her a two. Troy Sivan, um, he's wearing some kind of uh, scoop neck maxi dress uh, with the Rick Owens kiss boots. Uh, I'm not a fan of this. I love Troy Sivan. And I love the queer artist that he has like blossomed into. Do I think this is the T? No. Um, I think this was a miss. I'm actually very let down by all the guys at the Met Gala. Like I don't think any of the guys really showed out in their looks. 
Those Rickowins kiss boots to me just look like Jeffrey Campbell Lita's and I can never unsee that. So I'm going to give this a boot. Dan Levy in, uh, I believe it's J.W. Anderson. Oh, so it's Jonathan Anderson, but Loewe. Uh, this is a hot mess. This is a hot crock of shit. Um, I get it. Like two guys kissing with the map of America, but then with like the jeweled waves underneath and then the like ruched sleeves with the atlas on them and then the map trousers and then those gorgeous boots with the flowers it's too much someone at some point should have said you know maybe we should dial this down but i don't think anybody did and they just kind of kept adding things on it's a lot to look at um i get they want to go for that kind of like wow factor but i think they went too far. A for effort. I'm gonna give it a boot. Gigi Hadid. I believe this is Prada. Um, I think she looks good. She's giving like sultry, kind of more step back, like pared down. I love this hair color on her. I think she looks amazing. Obviously, she's a supermodel. She's gonna look great. Uh, do I think it's a bit simple? Yes. Does she look good? Yes. I'm gonna give her a two. Next up, we have AOC. Uh, she was wearing a dress that said tax the rich. This was quite the controversial moment only because people were kind of unsure how to feel about it because apparently to go to the Met Gala is like $35,000 a head. Apparently, I don't know if that's true. I've just seen that. Um, so she is kind of in this position now where she is one of the rich people. Um, but I guess she's been saying this her whole life. So I feel like if she didn't stick to this kind of motto, then she would be called a hypocrite and how can you go then to not agreeing with it that kind of thing apparently she brought a lot of attention to the phrase because it was googled like the google search like hit the roof when she wore this dress so she was doing the right thing and kind of raising awareness of this kind of movement against kind of like billionaires and the, the mega rich and stuff like that the bottom line is the dress is ugly so that's why i'm going to give it a boot but i do like the message. Kim Kardashian West in Balenciaga. Kim and Kanye have been doing a lot with them there, Balenciaga. He basically created the merch for the new Donda album. And this would have been a kind of iconic, shocking moment if she hadn't been wearing it for the past month. She was wearing it at every Donda listening party. She was wearing a black face mask. She's posted it on Instagram. She's posted it everywhere. Like, this isn't a new look. She's basically just been hiding her face for the past month anyway. So when this happened, I was a bit like, oh, okay, we've seen that. We've seen this. One thing that made me laugh, she was getting a full face of makeup done in the behind the scenes photos before the Met Gala, just to put this then over her face, <laughs> which I found hilarious. I lo I'm a, my favorite brand is Balenciaga and I love Kim Kardashian as well. And this is just a miss for me. So I'm going to give it a boot. Justin Bieber, apparently this is custom Drew House and then um, Hailey Bieber, I believe it's Saint Laurent, I've been told. I think a lot of sources got this this wrong. Um, but it's so forgettable. I don't know why Hailey Bieber's wearing sunglasses either. I don't know what's going on there. This is a boot for me. Kendall Jenner, this is probably my favorite look of the night, to be honest. Um, the dress is Givenchy by Matthew Williams. Matthew Williams is American. Um, so they kind of get a free pass in that sense because he designed it. They did a little interview as well and she and him said how like they've become good friends and they like design the dress together and have like this bond and stuff which is really cute and she looks stunning like you cannot argue that she doesn't look amazing uh so this is a two timothy chalamet is that how you say his name as well i've literally never said his name out loud uh i love him and i usually think he's great but i just think this was such a miss uh i believe it's a uh, Haida ackerman uh, coat, jacket with a Rick Owens top, I've heard, and then Converse, just Chuck Taylor's on the bottom. I get it, Chuck Taylor's American. Yes, I understand the reference. Is the outfit Met Gala worthy? I don't think so. Evan Mock is wearing Tom Brown. And I said, people asked me on Instagram what I would have worn, and I said I would have worn Tom Brown, but maybe a more like interesting look. I do like this look though. I think it's smart and clean. Uh, he did have the kind of like gimp mask with the spikes coming out of the head as well, which is more kind of shocking, giving that shock value on the runway kind of thing. But um, I think he looks good. And I think he kind of understood 
the theme and kind of went with it in that way. So I'm going to give him a two. This is Sierra and I think it's Dundas and it's like American football theme dress. Although I understand and that she hit the theme with the nail on the head, like sports, obviously, like American sports, very good. Um, It's hideous to me in a sense. I think it better suits the VMAs rather than the Met Gala. I think that kind of neon green kind of sequiny fabric just looks a bit more like teen pop rather than like esteemed prestige art gallery opening night if you know what i mean uh so boo olivia rodrigo in saint laurent absolutely stunning um this has been such a big year for her i don't think it says america or like celebrates american fashion in in a sense but does she look good Yes. Pete Davidson in Tom Brown. So Evan Mock was how to do Tom Brown correctly. Pete Davidson was how not to do Tom Brown. I think he looks like some kind of grandma. Um, This is just a bad look. I don't understand. Like all these celebrities must have stylists. They know so many people in the fashion industry and no one looked at them and said, hey, bro, you probably don't want to wear that because it doesn't look good. Oh, it's a boot. That's a big boot. Winnie Harlow and Iris Van Herpen. Again, no connection to the theme, but does she look incredible? Yes, she looks amazing. She looks so like ethereal and floaty. I am obsessed. This is the two. Cara Delevingne in Peg the Patriarchy Dior. It's been a lot of controversy online about this as well. Apparently that phrase has been like trademarked already by an independent artist and she kind of stole it and just put it on this. Uh, I don't think this is cute. Emma Chamberlain. uh, I love Emma Chamberlain. I'm obsessed. I don't see how it fits the theme. Does she look good? Yes. Did she do amazing on the red carpet interviews for Vogue? Have I watched them all? Yes. (laughs) Um, But uh, it doesn't fit the theme, but I think she looks incredible. And I'm so, so like proud and happy of where she's kind of going at the moment um from being a youtuber to then jumping into the fashion space from not really being like a fashion youtuber either she just is really killing it at the moment and she looks so good i love her own personal sense of style and i think this louis vuitton moment is really really good for her so i'm happy with this addison ray that's a boot i think this is dixie d'amelio I'm going to give her an A for effort because she doesn't look bad. Actually, Casey Musgraves wore something very similar to the VMAs, but in purple. I get the kind of like Audrey Hepburn kind of influence. Is it Met Gala worthy? I don't know. Going to give her a boot. And then we have CL. I'm a huge fan of CL. Uh, This is designed by Alexander Wang. I believe it's a traditional Korean kind of dress, I think. I'm not entirely sure because I didn't, I don't think CL did an interview about it. Either way, obviously Alexander Wang is an American brand as well. I think she kind of hit the nail on the head. I just wish there'd been a different under layer instead of the big panties. It kind of looked like a nappy to me. I think like a white bodysuit, even some different kind of panty or like some kind of bodysuit, I think would have been a bit better. Did she kind of go with the theme? Yes, denim is huge in American fashion and it's created some very iconic moments over the years. So yes. I'm going to give her a two. In conclusion, has the Met Gala kind of reached its peak? Like, is it on the decline now? I feel like we've had some truly iconic pop culture moments in the past. And I feel like we didn't get it this year. Like, yes, we got a lot of fancy gowns. Yes, we got a lot of fancy outfits. But did we get anything memorable uh, like we had in past years? And I don't think that we did. I think everyone kind of wore what, they were expected to wear and after 18 months of a pandemic does it feel that this kind of thing was better suited in a pre-pandemic world is it really what we need to watch celebrities dress up for a fundraiser um and just kind of going through the motions like not doing it for good reason or unless they have like a message um just doing it to kind of ignore the theme entirely and wear what they want to wear to show off it didn't really feel like there was any cultural reset or any kind of long-lasting memories that would come from that from that night which is kind of what it has been from the past and i read an interesting comment that was like was rihanna's outfit perfectly fitting in that it's kind of marks the death of this event because she was wearing all black and i think that's a really interesting takeaway 
from this. Anyway, <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you would like to see more of my videos and let me know what you'd like to see for my next videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.